Without sufficient financial means, the band of missionaries made their journey to New York. Passage was secured on the Garrick, which departed for Liverpool on July the 1st, 1837. During their Atlantic journey, the brethren preached the gospel and even healed the sick. The Garrick raced to its destination in competition with another vessel and arrived safely on July the 20th. It was nothing short of a journey of faith that brought the small band of missionaries across some 4,000 miles of land and sea to these docks in Liverpool, England. It was on docks like these that the new missionaries landed. Elder Kimball was so excited to finally arrive that he leapt ahead of the others from the small landing boat onto British soil. In so doing, he became the first Latter-day missionary to set foot outside of the Americas. At this time, Liverpool was a major trading port at the heart of the British Empire. Wealth and poverty abounded side by side in what must have appeared a very strange metropolis to the missionaries. In particular, Heber C. Kimball felt humbled to be called upon to preach to a land famed for its learning. And apart from Goodison, the small band had almost no money. The missionaries secured lodgings with a widow here in Union Street. One can only imagine how the missionaries must have felt, charged with an almost overwhelming task. Thousands of miles from their homes, their families, and of course, their beloved prophet, Joseph Smith. But at the heart of the restored gospel is a firm belief in direct revelation. And so they turned to the Lord for solace and guidance and received a revelation in answer to their prayers. They were to travel north to what is now one of the most famous towns in church history, Preston. The account of the arrival of the missionaries in Preston is now almost a church legend. July 1837 was the time of a political campaign following Queen Victoria's enthronement and one of the candidates unfurled a flag almost over the heads of the missionaries as the coach they were travelling in arrived in Preston. It said, truth will prevail. As you can imagine, this simple yet powerful message lifted their hearts. They knew God was directing their paths. They cried out, Amen. Thanks be to God. Truth will prevail. Thank you.